You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, General Hospital fans. Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your early edition spoilers for Monday, April 8th through Friday, April 12th. We have got some huge stuff. Of course, we've got Jason, Jason, and a little more Jason. We've got some Dex, some Carly, some Sunny, some Valentine, some Anna, some Brennan. Big, big stuff to unpack. I'm excited to tell you all about it. If you haven't, though, please reach down and click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. And as we always do on the early edition, I kind of run through what's going to happen the rest of this week to give you some context and just updates for next week's spoilers. Wednesday, April 3rd, we've got Finn opening up to Elizabeth Weber about his dad, Gregory Chase, who is rapidly getting worse. And Finn's upset, heartbroken, frustrated, and, and he's going to talk to his girlfriend about all of that. And Sasha and Cody finally talk about their feelings. It looks like she comes out to the stables to see him him and hang out and do horsey things now that she is no longer the face of deception and has more time on her hands. And Blaze talks to Christina about her new gig as the face of deception. But of course, she's only half the face of deception, which is kind of funny because they're going to end up with two faces of deception. And when you call someone two face, that is the epitome of deception. So it's it's kind of interesting. I think they're going to do a little I hope they do a little clever play on words with that in their advertising. I think that'd be really cute. Chase and Brooklyn Quartermain come to talk to Dante, who remains in the hospital, and they need a favor from him to make sure their wedding happens as they want, their early accelerated wedding timeline. Meanwhile, Tracy and Stella are back to arguing at the hospital. Remember, Stella wanted her to get that free checkup that all board members have, and Tracy poo-pooed it, and then Stella yelled at her and said that she had privilege for having access to health care that she is not using. So... That takes us to Thursday, April 4th, when Sasha is showing off her cooking skills. I'm guessing that's for Cody. I think that's really cute. Kevin and Laura Collins head over to General Hospital to check in on Heather Weber, who has had her hip replacement replaced with hopefully something that won't poison her. Again, I really hope they just pack her right off back to jail. That hip replacement is not the reason that she's a horrible person. She's been a horrible person for a long time. Don't get me wrong. I love her. I'm a villain lover. You guys who listen regularly know I loved Franco. I like Ava. I like the the bad people. So I like Heather Weber, but I don't think she should get a free pass because she had a faulty joint replacement. Curtis is there to comfort his daughter, Trina. I know she is very frustrated about the charges being dropped at Jason because, of course, she's convinced that he's the one who shot her dad. I'm interested to see if Curtis tells her what his thoughts are. Joss is in shock about something, and I wonder if she finds out that Dex was interviewing to be a cop. Maybe. That'd be cool. And Terry Randolph is back on Thursday, and she has some advice for Tracy. That takes us into Friday, April 5th, when Sunny and Natalia get to know each better, know each other better. Of course, Natalia is Blaze's mom. And I don't think Ava's gonna like that a lot if anything is flirty about it. Brooklyn Quartermain is having a wedding dress crisis, and her mom Lois Cirillo is there for it. Jocelyn's back to arguing with Christina. Speaking of arguing, Drew chews out Jagger. I'm very interested to see if Jagger gives any inkling of the fact that Jason is protecting Carly. And I'm interested to see if Jagger happens to know that Drew and Carly have broken up and just it's all interesting stuff. Sam McCall's worried about Danny Morgan. She doesn't want Danny seeing Jason. Danny wants to see Jason. I expect some more stuff next week on that. And Anna is out at Pentonville Prison. And she is questioning Jack Brennan about Pikeman. She wants to know who's running it. And I'm very curious if he might give an inkling away. He almost seemed like he was confessing stuff to the driver of the prison transport and then found out that Valentina had made sure there was a deaf driver. Um, I, is that a security risk? Like for him to be the only driver, because he wouldn't be able to hear if Brennan was doing something. It's it's very interesting. Um I'm excited that they use, I presume, a deaf actor for it. I, I am just curious, like in terms of real life, if there's usually a secondary officer 
if there is an officer who's deaf. I don't know. I've never seen a deaf police officer, but I thought it was very, very cool that they were inclusive like that. All right. That takes us to the week of April 8th through 12th. And I want to talk about the eclipse coverage and preemptions, but I'm going to do that at the end because I, I don't want to slow my roll with the spoiler. So Dex Heller looks like he should be getting a badge and just an interesting side note, Evan Hofer, who plays Dex, told Soap Digest that he was so sad about not having Maurice Baynard as his primary scene partner anymore that when he got the script basically showing Sonny and Dex's breakup, he said he cried. He said he was out in public and he actually cried, which I think is so darn cute. Valentine's time may be running out at Pikeman because we've got Jason and Jagger and Anna all coming from for him. They just don't know that it's him that they are coming for because they don't know who has taken over. Anna knows someone has taken over. And I wonder if Brennan is going to be willing to cut a deal to drop a dime on him because Anna is grilling him. He might flip on Valentine, but... But that would definitely be putting his life at risk. Valentine, I don't think, would hesitate to take him out. And so far, he has let him live. So we'll see how it goes. And Ava is warming her way deeper into Sonny's life while Sonny continues to alienate Carly and Jason and Michael. And of course, Sonny doesn't know it, but Jason has vowed to continue to protect him. And of course, we now know, as I suspected, that Jason is protecting Carly. Looks like she was a little sloppier than the usual mobsters during her little short tenure as a mob boss because they got all that Rico stuff on her. Meanwhile, Sonny and Jason have been doing mob stuff for years and they didn't have a file on them. Of course, Jagger knew that Carly was the, the correct pressure point to use against Jason Morgan. Sonny mental health spiral deepens and I imagine hearing that Dex is about to be a cop is going to hit him really hard and I wonder because he is unhinged if he is going to threaten you know the PCPD's latest cop assuming that Dex you know gets the job offer and takes the job we'll know more about that next week when we have the full spoilers and Brooklyn Quartermain's wedding is just about to happen so I expect some spoilers when I get the full list that Ned Quartermain Quartermain should be back to walk her down the aisle. Dante should be out of the hospital and at home recuperating soon with Sam doting on him, but still angry about Jason putting Danny at risk. Carly's distance from Sonny widens. And I wonder if Jason is ever going to admit that it's Carly that he's covering for, or at least admit it to like Michael or someone. And I'm wondering if Nina is going to get a fresh perspective after Drew gave her that little life lesson about the pointlessness of payback. Cameron Matheson, by the way, has another side gig. He's hosting a game show. But if you see anybody writing clickbait about how this is another sign he's leaving General Hospital, he's already filmed over 100 episodes with no gap in his work at General Hospital. So it doesn't look like it's causing any hiccups in his tenure as Drew came. All right. So the big eclipse preemption news. ABC News is airing this special called Eclipse Across America. They're starting the coverage at 2 p.m. Eastern, even though the eclipse itself doesn't hit until like 2.37. So in that time zone, Eastern time zone on Monday the 8th, it looks like there should be no episode at all. And then in the other time zones, usually with something like this where it's pre-planned, they show an encore episode. And again, I'll know more when I get the full roster of weekly spoilers, but definitely in the Eastern time zone and probably Central, I would not expect coverage. And in all the time zones, more than likely, it'll be something, you know, a rerun of some sort. I'm pretty excited about the eclipse. I'm actually going to Niagara Falls, New York for it. And I am pretty excited. I've been in the midline of another eclipse, goodness, maybe a decade ago. And it was really cool. Being right in the dead center of the midline where it happens is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. So I'll tell you guys about it when I'm back, but I'm going to be in Niagara Falls. I'll still be podcasting though. So come back seven days a week without interruption, no matter what I'm doing. <laughs> Belinda from Soap Dirt is still here. 
talking General Hospital all week long. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Definitely drop your comments on what you are excited to see. And remember to keep an eye on your DVR for that Monday preemption because sometimes when there's a preemption, it messes up the future coverage. So you usually want to like delete the rerun and then check your scheduled recording for the next day. Sometimes it helps to set a manual recording just as a backup insurance policy or be prepared to watch it on Hulu if your DVR doesn't pick it up. All right, that's everything I have for you. Thanks for tuning in so much. Come back tomorrow for more on General Hospital. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. <laughs>